The race is on to get a fully self-driving car to market. Autonomous car company Opticon promises a race. Cars that drive themselves. Opticon's new cars. Joining conference now. It's destroyed data and deleted the backups. We can recover most of it, but some of the research may be gone for good. According to the forensics, they may have had access to the blueprints. The FBI arrested a San Francisco man in connection with last month's Opticon. Hey, Brian, did you get you anything? Coffee or soda or something? No. no. So, walk me through it, step by step. Well, I took over the website to a bowling alley. Brian, this is not a joke. Okay, look, they have this research facility down the peninsula, and they're working on uh, optical tracking cameras for driverless cars. So, just searching through social media, I get the names of a whole bunch of engineers who are working there. And as I'm looking them up, I come across this bowling league where a bunch of tech companies play every Wednesday. And this is an old school bowling alley with this really ancient website. And it has all the league info, company names, player names. Okay, so you hacked into a bowling alley website. Yeah. All right, explain how that works. It's called an iframe injection attack. It's this old exploit that hits anyone that visits the website. So. A week later, this guy from Opticon suddenly has my malware on his laptop. I couldn't believe it worked. It was like a joke. What does that get you? Well, the next day he goes to work mm -hmm. and he opens his laptop and he connects to the network. And that's it. I'm in. Yeah, but that still doesn't get you inside. I mean, they discovered it. They wiped the laptop, scanned the network. No, they didn't scan the whole network. The thermostat's part of the network. It's inside the firewall. It's connected to Opticon's entire network. You can get the whole standard configuration and password online in 30 seconds. I got it off the manufacturer's website. So they scanned most of the network. They didn't scan the thermostat. Then what? Then I just went exploring. It was a totally flat network, no subnets or anything. I could see everything, HR files, legal documents, R&D. When I found the blueprints, I realized I could make some money off these files. What happened after you sent the files? Oh. Then I burned everything down. I wiped everything I could find, the encrypted drives, and deleted backups. Is the number down? I can't get the server. The servers look corrupt. I'm going to have to do a full restore for the backups. Now the backups are encrypted. This is deliberate. This is a major breach. Malware. We got to call the FBI. I was just scared. I was trying to cover my tracks. And somebody paid you how much exactly? 75 bitcoins. Nice. Not enough to retire on, but uh, still. All right, Brian Page. Are you sure you don't know who paid you? European automaker QCar has beaten Opticon to market with their QX sedan, the world's first self-driving car. Opticon shares tumbled a